Little kids are overdosing on actually melatonin supplements. You know, many melatonin supplements are sold as little gummies and, you know, things like that, which are basically like candy. And apparently in the last 10 years, there's been something like a 600% increase in the number of melatonin poisonings uh, reported by children to poison control centers. Something like uh, 52,000 poisonings were, were uh, noted between uh, 2012 and 2021. These were primarily young males under five years of old age for some reason. For some reason, little boys are more interested in this stuff than, than, than the girls are, I guess. And one of the things that they saw was that about one and a half percent of the time that r results in a very serious outcome, which includes uh, being hospitalized, put in intensive care, being on mechanical ventilation, and then occasionally, unfortunately, sometimes death. The other thing they were mentioning is a lot of the melatonin supplements are not verified as to what is actually uh, in the melatonin. So there could be uh, uh, dosages which are reflected on the label. You know, it may say three milligrams, but it could be as high as 10 or more. You know, some of the testing has shown that these aren't very reliable. Uh, one of the things they recommend is, you know, looking for the USP, that's Uniform Sierra Papa, USP verified mark to demonstrate that what's in it is actually in it. So anyway, uh, personally, I don't take melatonin. I think melatonin uh, is probably not the best thing to do for sleep. We can talk about that in a different, different topic, a different video if you want.